Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Nikon D610. We have an email in here from Silvius. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, probably goes by the short form of Sil. <laughs> um, that would be my guess. If you were my buddy, I'd call you Sil. Anyways, um, thanks for writing in. He says, uh, Nikon D610 is the heading. Good day. A friend of mine is offering me to buy his used camera for US 365, a Nikon D610 with a 24 to 85 lens. Is it still a good buy, a good camera? Or will Nikon be retiring support for it anytime soon? I've owned a Canon 700D before. Thank you. Regards. Well, thanks for your question. I love the 610. If you watch videos regularly here, you'll see it's a favorite of mine. I still think it's a phenomenal camera, even despite its age. It's getting old. Um, but... Uh, as far as a 24 megapixel sensor, it still punches at the top of full frame camera. It can, it can fight with the best of them. Um, and it has a decent autofocus system, not Nikon's top of the line, but I never found it to be a problem. If you're a center and recompose kind of guy, which I am and a lot of us are, in other words, if you're not using all the fancy tracking so you can let the, like, you know, like on the D850 or the D5, those things can track a fighter jet coming by a Mach 2. Not quite, but I'm, you get my point. Um, if you're more of a center recompose kind of guy, if you don't need the fanciest autofocus system, the D610 is great. I love it. I never had a problem with it for autofocus. Um, the 750s is a little better. The 810s is a little better. Obviously, the 850s is a little better. And obviously, the D5 is the best. Um, but for that price, I would snatch that up. $365 for a D610 and a 2485 lens. Um, I mean, the lens you could probably sell for over 100 bucks. That means you're getting the camera body for... Um, two hundred sixty-five dollars. You probably get more than that for the lens. So, I mean, I wouldn't even think twice. I would buy that. Now, what kind of condition is it in? How many clicks are on the shutter? That's something you want to factor in. If this is a heavily used or abused camera with a lot of shutter count, um, then you might have to factor in the price of a shutter repair. But even then, you got room for the price of a shutter repair at this price. Yeah, I would buy that if it was in decent shape and not too too bad on the shutter count. I would totally buy that. I would even consider it if it was in decent shape and had a bit of a higher shutter but was still working because a shutter repair, um, you, can, you can price it out, but I don't think they're that expensive when you're getting this camera for that price. Um, that's a fantastic price. Um, you could sell it down the road and make some money on it. So yeah, I would buy it. Um, it performs amazing. It shoots pretty decent 1080 um, for video. doesn't have 4K, but a lot of cameras still don't, um, especially on the Canon side. <laughs> <laughs> um, we probably will see an update to it, maybe a D650, not too far off. But hey, at that price, upgrade, sell it, make some money, and put it towards your 650. Yeah, I don't think there's any reasons I could see why I wouldn't pick that camera up. It's an amazing performing camera, especially for photography. It's been, I still think it's probably just about the best value in full frame cameras today, even now, despite its age. I uh, really like it. I would probably sell that 24 to 85. It's an okay lens, but I love the 24 to 120 f4 VR. So I would probably sell the 24 to 85, put that money towards a used in good shape or a refurbed 24 to 120. You don't have to, it's just my favorite lens. With this 610, I would, I would shoot with a 24 to 120 f4 VR, an 85 millimeter f1.8 G, and for a long lens, I would probably get the 70 to 200 f4 from Nikon or something older, like an older 80 to 200 f2.8, maybe an old push pull. I like those. Less money. They're not image stabilized. And if I wanted to spend the money, I want something long. I'm a big fan of the 200 to 500 VR. So you might want to look at that if you like a long telephoto. Great performer, great price. Let me throw it back to you guys. What would you guys do? Would you still buy a D610 at this point? Remember, we're, we're being offered this thing for 365 US with the 24 to 85. To me, that's a no-brainer at that price. But what would you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to hear what your input is here. Uh, yay or nay and why. And um, let's help out Sil. Um, hope you don't mind me calling you Sil. Uh, good question. And I love that camera. And uh, curious to hear what you guys have to say. Always great to get your feedback when our viewers are writing in with a question. Thanks for your question, Sil. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.